Hello, I hope everybody had a, a good weekend. I've got this week's update for you. Uh, I had a great week last week. Um, I think in a time when lots of bad things are happening, it's gotta be okay to say that you're okay. Um, I feel like we're okay. And uh, that we're more than just in control. We're moving forward. Um, I'm aware of that for lots of people last month was horrific. Uh, I was hesitant about you know, talking about the positives, but I really think we need to, or else we're in danger of only hearing negative news. Um, of course, I'm only talking about business. There's more important things than uh, than the business and money, and I know that. Um, but you tuned in to find out about your property business, and that's the update I'm going to give you. And it's a it's a positive one. Um, I think one of the primary benefits of being a landlord is that it's the asset that's bringing in the income, not not you at work. We found out over the last uh, few weeks the um, those reoccurring uh, automatic income streams, the, the benefit of them. Personally, I'm living that reality and I hope you, our landlords, are living that too. Um, the reality seems to be pretty good com in comparison. Um, our business continues largely unaffected and it seems that we're mostly uh, insulated from any financial turmoil. Um, health concerns are, are largely out of our control, of course, um, but not having financial concerns, to me, it's allowed me to concentrate on what's really important. And given a few weeks of reflection, I'm really proud of what, what we've achieved for ourselves and also for our landlords. It's given them um, yeah, that, that degree of, of insulation. So last, last week I had uh, some time to focus on the good and the positive things that we can do now um, to come out of this and uh, you know, in, in preparation to come out, for, uh, out of this. I'm also aware that my team listens to this update. Um, some of them are sat at home now on furlough. Um, others are hard at work. They're probably working harder now than uh, they would do normally, if you like, to keep the wheels turning. Um, I've taken some tough choices for this business and those choices have affected those guys. Um, I stopped taking a salary out of the business probably largely just to make myself feel better, I guess. Um, so I did think carefully about today's uh, update before I came on here talking about my good week. Um, but for my team, for our landlords, hearing that we've got a strong and resilient business model um, and busy and interesting work to get back to when we do finally come back, it's got to be a good thing, um, and I can't I can't think of any other uh, re I can't think of any reasons not to share that with everybody. So here's the update. Um, we sale agreed two properties last week, a single lot and an HMO. Uh, both were allocated to clients with solicitors in under 15 minutes, an indicator of what business is going to look like in uh, you know the second second half of this year. Let's say um, we only conducted one viewing safely, of course, uh, taking all the right precautions. Um, but we've now got approximately 70 landlords in our queuing system waiting for property. Um, we're looking forward to estate agents reopening. The government seems to be encouraging um, estate agents back to work. Of course, estate agents aren't stopped from working at the moment. Very few businesses are on the list forbidden to open their doors. Um, estate agents, like lots of other businesses, are choosing not to open. Um, I think primarily because they, they furloughed the majority of their staff due to defensive, as a defensive precaution. And lots of other businesses did, and, and, and all of that lack of uh, confidence is, you know, in that first sort of three or four weeks. Um, but we get the impression that everyone that we speak to, like horses in the trap, is straining to, uh, to get going again. Um, personally, I completed on two properties last week. So I say sale completed, legally completed on two week properties last week. And I've got another one going through this week. Um, so, you know, it, for that, that part of the business is, it's not quite business as usual, but if we could get the, uh, the viewings through, I think it would be busier than normal. So that's a, a good indicator for the future. Renovations are um, still patchy, I'll be honest. Um, that's probably the best way to describe them. It's material deliveries. It's not that there's a short supply, they just simply are not available at all. So far as we're aware, there's no stock shortages. You know, if we were to go to the, uh, the builder's yard, the stuff's there, we just cannot get deliveries. Um, it's about 50-50, the builders who have stopped and those that keep going. And we've got a short backlog, perhaps two or three weeks at the moment. Put that differently, it's you know, 
three or four weeks of working later in the day and catching up at the weekend. So yeah, it's it's, um, it, it, it's for sure it's a backlog, but it's easy enough to catch up with. Uh, when it comes to renting properties, we know that we need to avoid the void, as they say. Um, so filling properties, filling empty properties is now our number one priority. Um, we're just about keeping pace for that. Uh, we're letting rooms and houses almost exclusively now with video viewings. Video viewings are working really, really well. Uh, I think it, some element of a video viewing is something that we're going to um, carry on with uh, after this lockdown period. In fact, we're, we're just uh, um, optimizing several areas of IT, most notably, I guess, the, our website and some links to the portals to make sure that video viewings look better and are presented better, um, that they're fine for now, um, they're doing the job that they, they need to be doing, but I'm sure we can improve on them and they're going to continue after the lockdown. So there's a, a nice positive bit coming out of that. Um, however, there are three areas of pressure when it comes to renting empty rooms. First of all, some applicants are pulling out or failing referencing. So you know, they, they, they were going ahead, then all of a sudden, now they're not going ahead. Uh, and that wastes time. So we might be a week into a referencing process and the tenant pulls out, which is it's quite unusual that that happens. Um, and it's all always used, you know, due to COVID-19 in this situation. So, uh, so property isn't quite filling up as fast. It seems a little bit stop and start with that area. Uh, second area of pressure is that we're getting slightly more notices than usual. So tenants leaving, and sometimes they're not giving a notice actually. So it's more than just a notice. It would tick down on our um, sheet as a, as a notice, as a vacate, but uh, actually sometimes they're just left. So properties are emptying a little faster. Yeah, first area of pressure, they're not filling up as quick. Second area of pressure, they're emptying a little faster. The uh, the pressure's obvious there, I guess. Um, it's got to be noticed that, uh, noted that some notices have been temporarily rescinded. So there are tenants that have gave notice and then have rescinded that because they want to stay where they are for obvious reasons, uh, just for the time being. They're still paying rent, um, but tenants deciding not to move. Um, we can see that's going to store pressure for the future, of course, because as soon as the restrictions are lifted, I guess they will be moving on. So we've really got to keep um, a, a close eye on this, and this is why this is our number one priority at the moment. The third area of pressure is our ability to get into the property uh, to do a checkout and then do a, a tenant turn, your know, decoration or whatever, and then do a new inventory. So um, emptying a bit quicker, not filling up as, as quick, and also us being uh, restricted about how much we can get into the properties. You can actually add all those three things together. There's a small gap appearing on our board um, from where we are and where we'd like to be. Um, however, no panic. You know, we're, this is something we're picking up very early. Um, we talk daily about you know, where, where, the, where the pressures are coming and we feel that they're manageable. Uh, we're nearly keeping pace and we're doing our best to uh, make up the gap wherever we can. Uh, we've brought on another couple of um, uh, contractors to get the tenant turns done uh, a little bit, uh, bit, bit quicker. Um, people do still want to move in and out. Uh, and of course, moving out is easier than moving in. There's, you, know, you just hand the keys back and leave and that's, that's you gone. Whereas filling a room or a house is a little bit, uh, takes a little bit longer. And I think that's probably where the gaps are. So we're, we're gonna do our best to keep pace with it. And I think that when things return to normal, um, we will see that the gap um, uh, closes up. So we're comfortable with that at the moment. Uh, on the subject of arrears, you'll be pleased to hear that uh, the numbers are holding steady. We usually track three numbers. That's arrears and occupation, arrears and occupation gone legal, and arrears vacated. Um, we also track bad debt, of course. Um, all of those numbers, all three of those numbers have actually improved. Um, however, the picture is slightly more nuanced on that. Uh, and we, we've sort of been working on that over the last couple of weeks because, well, for, for example, on a usual weekday, any rents that are received would be reconciled. So any rents received after 3 p.m. on a normal working day would be reconciled the next day. Uh, there are occasions when um, missed postings happen, unallocated funds happen, they sit in a suspense account and they're chased throughout the week. And on a Wednesday, ready for a Thursday, Friday pay run, they'll be allocated. Um, no need to do it any sooner than that, of course, and that's the usual flow of things. Um, we are looking at things very closely now. 
uh, and with circa you know, 15 to 20,000 pounds worth of rents coming in every single day, our you know, full court press, if you call it that, um, can, and I think it has, produced a short-term improvement that can mask the long-term numbers. We know what our arrears are uh, for, you know, under those three categories, long-term for the last well, for five years. Um, and by squishing down on the daily day, uh, daily uh, figures, um, we've squished that a little bit. Um, so we've introduced another set of KPIs, key performance indicators, they're all um, COVID-19 related. For example, we're tracking how many people are on the 80%, how many people have got a payment and plan in place, and a few other things. Really importantly, we're tracking how many are non-COVID-19 related, because you're not going to be able to subtract that from the numbers as well. Um, there's a lot of work being gone on there. What, what does that mean for you? Um, really only that we're across this issue for you. Uh, we don't want you to be concerned or worry about it. We've got a plan, we're dealing with it, so you don't need to be overly concerned. Um, the message is still exactly the same as it has been for the last two weeks. Tenants are still paying their rent. Uh, we've got less than 20 cases of arrears in occupation. I'm reading this now from our, our KPI sheet um, due, to, due to COVID-19. Almost all, bar three, are on a plan. They have a payment plan in place. And any that don't, uh, we are working on those right now. So um, are still under control and uh, the, the, the fear that tenants would en masse not pay um, their rent is just unfounded. Maintenance, non-urgent maintenance is still on hold. All jobs have been stacked up in a job silo, exactly the same as it has been for the last three or four weeks now. Um, so we appreciate that is that is going to be some work to get back to. Um, gas safety certificates are all being done and we have got zero outstanding, no outstanding gas safety certificates. So that's it for now. Um, we're looking forward to a, a productive week. Um, we're going to push forward with our franchise partner recruitment plan in, in, in anticipation of increased investor demand in the second half of the year. We're going to sale agree, agree at least a few properties. Uh, we're going to complete on another three to six properties this month. We're going to let agree and move in 20 to 25 properties uh, tenants this month going to all the while keep the back office tenancies, accounts, property management systems working the best they can. It's not quite normal um, but it's a decent fist and um, we're using our time productively to um, mean that when we come out of this we'll have interesting and challenging work uh, to get on with. So um, yeah, a positive update for the week. See you next week. <laughs>